with Luke and he just got off the stage at the Underdog for Stagecoach's second event. So how was your experience at the Stagecoach so far? Well, it was fantastic. I think having a, a venue that's uh, willing to, to put on a, an event like this in, you know, the heart of Brisbane is just fantastic because uh, I don't hear much country music in, in these streets, that's for sure. And uh, it was just great to be able to get up and do my thing and, and have it... Um, the response, you know, was, was just great. We've got a lot of music lovers here in general, um, but they really want to support original music as well, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm all for that. So I had a great time. Okay, so where do you get the inspiration for your music from? From all sorts of things, really. I mean, it could just be a conversation I have over here, or a, uh, you know, a conversation I have. Uh, it could be a moment that happens to me. It could be anything. Half the time, when someone says something that's pretty catchy. I whip out my phone and I've got my notes with all, you know, my new hooks and everything, which is just ideas. Um, and it could just be a simple one-liner uh, and I construct a story out of that or, or something. It's sort of, I guess we're, we're storytellers and, and if we keep it, you know, near to the truth, great. But, um, you know, at the same time, uh, you know, we can make stuff up and, and get away with it and have fun with it. So, I just, inspiration comes from everywhere. Yeah. So is there any of your songs that you get really excited to sing? I do like singing Sacred Bones. It, it's a ballad, but it's a pretty significant song for me and, and my career. It won me my first golden guitar. Um, and it's a true story about some um, Aboriginal bones that um, my dad found back in the 60s um, and told the landowner what he had on his property. and, and uh, you know, they then got taken away for testing and, and everything else and they should have just been left alone. And, but they, they were found and they were brought back 45 years later. And, uh, you know, an elder, elder of uh, the Goombangi people in Grafton sung them home and, and I'm from Grafton and it's just sort of, it's one of those stories that's really close to home. It's worth telling because it's, it happens so regularly, um, especially in Indigenous Australia and, and all over the world. Uh, when these, you know, ancient artefacts are, are found and uh, tampered with, you know, it's just not right. So, but I, I like singing that. I, I'm not a real political kind of artist. I, I just like having fun with with what I do and, um, you know, trying to tell a story and hopefully people enjoy what I'm doing. Do you have any music inspirations? Is there any artists that you really look up to? Oh, there's so many. I mean, I don't. People ask me all the time, "Have I got a favourite artist?" and I don't. There's. I just like so many. Have I got a favourite song? I don't. There's. There's so many songs that that I like. But see, um, I grew up listening to you know Mel Haggard and George Jones and Charlie Pride, Slim Dusty, Stan Costa, like a lot of uh, older country music singers. Um, as I kind of got more competent on the guitar, my influences started to stem from you know Chuck Berry and uh, Buddy Holly to. Uh, you know, Hank Marvin and the Shadows, and then pretty soon it becomes Steve Ray Vaughan and, and Robin Ford, and and then obviously you got artists like Keith Urban, and um, that that are such you know prolific players. They're just amazing with with what they do, what they bring to the stage uh, with their musicianship, but also as an artist and um, you know as a front man. And, and I really look up to that. It's being you know creating energy through what you're doing and and seeing that sort of you know. Just pour out into the audience is, is such a, a big thing and I, uh, I just love the power of music in general. Yeah. Okay, so when you're not creating music and you're not singing, what are you doing? Making the kids lunches, getting them to school, <laughs> um, cleaning dirty nappies, um, mowing the lawn, <laughs> pretty normal stuff. I'm a bit of a stay-at-home dad during the weeks. Uh, I like to songwrite and be you know creative, but in saying that, uh, with my career, I, I pretty well do everything at the moment. I have just signed on a manager and we've got an, uh, an art, uh, agency on board and everything else, but there's a lot of hats you have to wear and, and only one head you can wear them with. So if I'm not doing admin, I'm trying to you know push for gigs or, or doing festival applications or playing gigs or traveling. or There's just so many facets of, of what we do as musicians and, and recording artists. Uh, that there's never a dull moment and, and you always got to keep yourself busy because you only get out of it what you put into it. Okay, so is there anything you want to say to the viewers? Uh, you're tuned into Stagecoach and uh, I'm really proud to be here tonight having a great time 
And if you get a chance, get on down to the underdog and check this this show out because it's really cool. And it supports local talent. Uh, you know, anything like that, you got to come and check out. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Thank you. Great.